What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you once again for visiting and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And for those who are coming here for the first time, consider clicking the subscribe button. Um, it will help me out a lot and I really appreciate it. And for those who have subscribed, shout outs to you. Thank you so much. So guys, today I am going to take a look at another Chinese bike brand. So I was riding the other day and then I just saw it along the way. It looks like a new showroom. I've known about that brand for a while, but I've never really uh, taken a look at the bikes they have. So today I'm going to look at what they have on display. And I've, I want to share it with you as well. So uh, let's, let's ex enjoy this experience together. So yeah, this brand is called Vogue. Uh, at least I think that's how it's pronounced. It's V-O-G-E. Uh, some of you might know it and others might not so it's a it's a Chinese brand and from what I hear it's a bike uh, well the engine is made by uh, a company here in China that makes uh, the engines for uh, one of the BMW bikes I don't know if it's the F750G or so because I heard that those bikes are made in China now so I don't know that's what I heard uh, it can be verified if that is true then the engine is supposed to be good maybe maybe not up to BMW standard but probably the materials are similar so might be reliable so I'm just gonna check it out see the bikes they have on display and share the, the videos as well so you can also have a look uh, and see if you like them or not so that's what this video is going to be about uh, we're almost there so once we get there uh, we'll get to see more of the bike so stay tuned don't go away so guys I'm just arriving now I uh, just need to make a left turn and I'll be there at the showroom Alright, so we're, here we are. We've just arrived. Uh, so let's go in and see what they have on display. Alright guys, so I'm in the shop now and they have a number of bikes on display. So I'm just going to do a walk around and then I'll, um, at the end, I'll show you the, the bike that I am very interested in. So stay tuned. So these are sort of like cruiser style bikes. They look kind of cool. And these are the road version. This over there is a 300. So this is a 300 range. So that's a 300 R. Uh, kind of like a sports bike. And these are the road versions, 300 cc's. Also the same brand, Vogue. And this one is kind of like a scrambler style. So it's for people who enjoy or like scrambler style bikes and right here it says 300 so i'm guessing it's a 300 cc as well yeah quality doesn't look too bad it looks okay um, the design of the headlights is kind of interesting but i guess it works uh, that's what's important as long as it works it's cool and this is a 500 version of the 300 i showed you a little earlier so kind of like a similar design but this one is a little bit more beefy uh, than the 300 definitely more power so yeah just for your eyes hmm, something interesting here the 
the design of the engine is kind of looking like the that of the CB500X. But like I said earlier, I heard that the, the company that makes the BMW engine, uh, I still need to find out which one, because what I'm guessing is a 750GS. I heard some of them are made in China now. So I'm guessing it's the same company they are claiming makes these engines. Uh, and that's a red one there as well. So red one and we get two white ones here. And they've got some nice looking scooters here. So for those who are interested in scooters, yeah, I still like bikes with the clutch. So for the moment, I'm not looking at scooters, but they look pretty cool. I just want to bring them and show them to you how they look like. They're kind of cool. It's a tight fit here, but I'll try to show you how the dash looks like. And that's a brand out right there. It's called, it's a Dayan, Dayan brand. That's kind of cool. Cool headlights. Don't know if they are HIDs or LEDs, and they've got one caliper in front. So this one comes with ABS, and yeah, this one has ABS as well. ABS is pretty standard on all bikes these days. And a few more smaller scooters. These are a lot more nimble when you uh, just commuting around town. Oh, and this is a this one is a Suzuki. Yeah, this this lineup here are all Suzukis. Uh, very nimble for commuting through traffic. And these are some more cruiser style bikes, um, kind of like retro. The finish doesn't look too bad. The seat is really nice. And looks like it's a 650cc engine. Yeah, right here on the engine block, it rides 649cm. So, that's a 650cc bike. Looks cool. I'm just gonna do a quick walk around so you can see they have this one in gray and they have black ones over there. Yeah, I like this red the most because it has, the paint just pops out. It's a mixture of red and black. And it looks really cool. Double exhausts on the right. Yeah, not too bad. I like the design of the tail lights. It looks really, uh, really sleek. So I'll do some more walking around so you can see different angles of the of the bike. And this is the front view. So you have your turn signals, which are I think are just normal bulbs, and the headlights, which look like H HIDs or LEDs. Yeah, I think it's a mixture. Looks cool. Look at the design of the radiates are very interesting. I don't know if it goes all the way from top to down, but it looks really long. It's kind of like in portrait um, orientation and not landscape as most bikes have it. So this is a front view of these cruisers here. For those who are interested in, in cruisers, it might be something of interest for you to, to see. Yeah, and I like how these indicators are 
dotted on the headlights it's kind of cool you don't have to look down to see your indications you can just see them while you're seated comfortably yeah so that's that's about this uh, cruises for those who are interested in, in cruises just for your eyes and they have a sidecar as well on display so these bikes are cool I like them but I don't have use for them right now maybe later in life but not now but it look kinda cool um, you can have the rider separate from the passenger um, so it's kinda like two in one so this is how it looks like it's got two exhaust one on the left and one on the right and you have this sidecar where your passenger sits in and interestingly it looks like it's, it's got a um, 12 volt socket here oh yeah it's a it's double USB ports and a switch here I guess for maybe lights for for night and it's got seat belts as well obviously whoever is sitting here has to be well protected so it's a good plus that they have uh, a seat belt in there of course the rider doesn't need a seat belt or cannot have a seat belt and it's kind of cool if you're carrying a passenger just cruising around at low speeds it's it's more comfortable than both of you sitting on two wheels and it's got headlights huge enough to indicate properly when you're stopping on both ends so that is kind of cool and now to the bike that I'm very interested in the adventure style so they've got a 650 cc adventure style bike they've got it in military green and black I don't know if they have other colors but the design looks looks awesome and it looks like the screen is adjustable in three positions so you get position one two and three and I think I think that's a good plus as to whether it works to deflect the wind properly I'm not sure but it's got three three positions and look at the design of the headlights so it's got daytime running lights here and the main headlamps are tucked in there it seems pretty high though so people who are around six feet are going to enjoy this more I don't know how it to be if you're a little bit on the shorter side uh, it's got two, two discs, brake discs in front spoked wheels I don't think these are tubeless because the tubes their spokes go right in the middle so they probably need tubes in the tires but you've got Nissan calipers here which is cool I'm pretty sure the braking power is gonna be strong yeah we get only one pipe there I'm not sure if it's twin cylinder or a single cylinder I'm guessing it's a twin cylinder channeled into into one to give it a clean look uh, you've got crash bars or safety guards here which look really solid and steady um, you've got your engine so that's the brand right there Vogue this brand in the past was called launching right here and then I think they adopted a new name the Vogue which is right here so yeah and the brake pedal is metal and it's got its teeth here so it's likely to prevent slip and you also got the uh, foot pedal has some rubber on it to help with vibrations and there are screws here so I'm guessing you can take this the rubber off and have more grip if you're riding off-road 
Um, overall, it looks it looks nice. The design of the pipes and the layout kind of looks to me like um, a Triumph. It's kind of similar to how Triumph builds its bikes uh, with the frame exposed. Solid metal all over. Uh, it's got two piece seat. Means you can detach seats individually rather than the whole piece. And the seat is also set a little bit lower so maybe it compensates for uh, shorter riders you've got a side stand and a center stand and i'm guessing these all come as standard i'm not too sure about that you got some really nice looking uh, chain and sprocket combination uh, solid metal it all it all looks really really solid and really really um, high quality you've got spoke wheels on the rear as well you've got some nice Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR tires 150 70 and the rim size is 17 and I'm guessing the front is let's take a look yeah front is 110 80 and rim 19 so it's it's the same rim size as the Honda CB 500X. And I like the thread on these tires, the Pirellis. They look really cool. They don't look like real adventure. I think they are kind of like mixed used tires, 50-50 maybe, not too sure. So this is the rear end of the bike. Uh, looks really cool. Some really cool looking tail lights. It's got some tail lights here, uh, stripes, and I think maybe the braking brake lights will be in the middle. Yeah, turn signals really nice. They are not the plain kind of glass we're used to seeing. Yeah, and you can see the LED bulbs in there one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six LEDs in each turn signal and the pipe the pipe looks looks cool it looks really good and it's set really high so even if you are in water it's not likely that you're gonna have water going in your in your pipes so you can uh, drive in very high water cross rivers and all that light slam cross you can drive across uh, rivers and things like that, puddles and, and 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 stuff like that. You also have Nissan calipers in the rear, one disc brake, uh, also with ABS. And the design of the frame looks nice, one piece solid metal. And what I'm seeing is not too far off in terms of the build quality. A lot of things are nicely tucked away. So I think we have the uh, coolant right here. And I'm guessing this is for oil change or maybe not oil change I'm not sure what this cap here is for and then again you have your side stand you have your gear lever which feels solid and sturdy like solid metal yeah, so overall, this bike looks good, and this is how it looks from from the top. So we're gonna move from the from the rear all the way to the front. So this is what you're gonna see when you're sitting on the bike, and it's quite narrow though, as opposed to the CB500X, which has some really beefy fairing on on this front end. This one is kind of narrow. And this is how it looks. It has a really clean build look anyway. And this is something interesting I've noticed. This cap looks similar to that of the uh, that on the BMW bikes. Same kind of design, but it feels really solid and sturdy. So you have your clutch lever, you get it pass light. 
high low beam turn signals um, horn I'm guessing here and look it has switchable ABS so you can press this I'm guessing for a few seconds like most of them do to turn on and off your ABS and on the right hand side you have your ignition switch kill switch you have your hazards and you have the start button so pretty standard and you have your front front brake so all pretty standard and oh interestingly it comes with and I think it's stock it comes with a USB right here so when you're driving you're running out of power on your phone or your camera or other gear you just plug it in and you can charge I don't know where you're going to leave your device though when you're charging but because I don't see any other pocket anywhere where you can put your phone or something but I'm sure you can improvise this is the bike that has really caught my eye because I'm like an adventure bike kind of lover so I've spent more time on this bike than all the other ones okay so there's no battery we can take a look at the display but it looks like a TFT display from the one piece screen which I'm sure will light up really nicely yeah so that's it guys that's the end of the tour of this showroom and of the bikes they have on display uh, I must say I'm impressed mostly by the 650 cc adventure bike that we're looking at right now and it's not too far off not too far off where a lot of us worry about the quality of bikes made here in China but um, if you see them in person they're quite enticing and I've just ported a 500 version so this is a, a little cheaper here and this is how the 500 looks like it looks a lot smaller and more simple than the 650 cc version but it also looks cool um, also got a nice TFT set of display and if I'm just gonna it's a tight fit here but I'll try to show you around yeah, it's got pretty standard pipe for the exhaust and that's the design of the engine what strikes me is how similar it is to that of the CB500X if you compare the two you can see the similarity in design and there it is Vogue 500 DS I don't know what DS stands for but this is a 500cc version it's also got double disc in front um, comes with ABS and some cool looking headlights as well so yeah it's not easy to ride these bikes off they look really really good I must confess alright guys so thank you so much for watching and coming along I really do appreciate you sticking around and I hope you enjoyed this video give a thumbs up click the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and like the video share and leave a comment if you have any thank you so much for watching ride legal ride safe peace